हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ माइंड मैप टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज रॉक ग्लेशियर्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ रॉक ग्लेशियर्स देन देयर क्लासिफिकेशन इंपॉर्टेंस इंपैक्ट ऑफ एक्टिव रॉक ग्लेशियर्स एंड लास्टली वे फॉरवर्ड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मूविंग ऑन टू द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ रॉक ग्लेशियर्स Rock glaciers are landforms composed of a mixture of ice and rock fragments. They typically develop in areas with high mountains combining rock debris, ice and permafrost. That is a layer of soil or sediment that remains frozen year round. Although they resemble typical ground surfaces, rock glaciers are distinct and require a specialized geomorphological perspective for accurate identification. Now let's discuss about classification of rock glaciers. Rock glaciers are generally classified into two main types: active and relict. Active rock glaciers. They are characterized by the presence of ice within their structure and exhibit movement which can be detected over time. This movement makes them dynamic features in the landscape. The speed of this movement can vary often influenced by temperature and the amount of ice within. Due to their dynamic nature, active rock glaciers can pose hazards, especially in mountainous regions. They can impact infrastructure, modify water flow, and contribute to landscape changes. These glaciers serve as important indicators of current climatic conditions and environmental changes, particularly in alpine and polar regions. Next is relict rock glaciers. Relict rock glaciers are stable and inert. indicating a lack of movement and ice content they are remnants of past climatic conditions and can provide valuable information about the earth's climatic history and past geographical processes relict rock glaciers are often studied for their geological significance providing insights into the long term evolution of landscapes although inert these glaciers can impact the ecology of the area by influencing soil formation vegetation patterns and habitat creation subtypes and variations talus rock glaciers formed from rock fall debris accumulating on slopes with underlying permafrost glacial rock glaciers originating from debris covered glaciers where the ice core is derived from the glacial ice rather than permafrost and composite rock glaciers It is a combination of talus and glacial inputs displaying characteristics of both types. Now let's discuss about importance of rock glaciers. First is environmental indicators. These glaciers are key indicators of mountain permafrost, the permanently frozen ground prevalent in high altitude regions. Water reservoirs. Rock glaciers are significant for their role in storing large amounts of water. within their frozen cores which can be crucial in areas facing water scarcity now let's have a look at the impact of active rock glaciers glacial lake outburst floods or glofs the movement and instability of active rock glaciers can heighten the risk of glofs which are sudden floods caused by the breach of natural dams of glacial lakes the presence of active rock glaciers near certain glacial lakes such as chirsar lake and bramsar lake amplifies the threat of glofs landslides the melting of permafrost within active rock glaciers can lead to landslides by destabilizing slopes or lubricating sliding masses in places like nunavik quebec the thawing of permafrost has escalated the frequency of landslides endangering settlements and infrastructure Thermocast formation active rock glaciers can lead to the development of thermocast terrains characterized by uneven surfaces with marshy hollows and hummocks altering regional hydrology and ecosystems the batagaika crater in russia's sakha republic illustrates the extensive nature of the thermocast now lastly moving on to way forward permafrost research there is a vital need for continued research into permafrost and its implications particularly in understanding and addressing climate change in the himalayan region resource allocation further studies are needed on the hydrological potential of active rock glaciers with an emphasis on sustainable water usage 
Early warning systems. Implementing early warning systems in regions with active rock glaciers is crucial for altering communities and authorities about potential disasters. Policy integration. Findings from permafrost studies should be integrated into regional and national climate change adaptation plans. And community awareness. Raising awareness among local communities, planners and policy makers about the risk associated with permafrost degradation is essential for effective risk management. Now it's time for the practice question. First of all, prelims based question. Consider the following statements about active rock glaciers. Statement 1. Active rock glaciers show no movement and are static. Statement 2. They can pose hazards impacting infrastructure and modifying water flow. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. And now mains practice question. Explain the significance of relict rock glaciers in understanding Earth's climatic history and geological processes. So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.